Next news out of the USA. Conservative activist Candace Owens is criticized by fans for anti-atheist tweet. Uh, Candace Owens is a conservative commenter known for her criticisms of the Black Lives Matter movement and the Democratic Party in general. Uh, She posted a tweet that condemned not just leftism, but also atheism. She specifically said leftism, atheism, and narcissism are a packaged deal. And uh, while she normally sticks to right-wing political arguments, um, it appears that she's actually gathered a lot of secular following because most of the comments um, in response to her tweet were all negative. Mm. Um, so it turns out she got to see that a lot of her supporters on the conservative side were actually conservative atheists. Mm. So uh, they tweeted out things that said, totally missed the mark on this one, Candace, or not all true, or why would she even write this? Right. So I'm actually happy about this tweet. Uh, for two reasons first of all the tweet is completely i mean so nonsensical that i don't even have to touch it right like obviously they're you know like i don't even know where to start this is so stupid and so insane and to me it's very interesting i can this one like i if you actually listen to her long videos instead of uh, the clips that people because she says a lot of stuff and then one part small part of it sounds very good and people take it out and then it goes viral and people think she's very smart but if you actually listen to like if you should listen to her on joe rogan and other places she's not very bright um and like you can see by tweets like this that she's <laughs> definitely like i don't know how she got so f- uh, how she got so many supporters like she I'm not, I'm not actually trying to insult her or anything like she's really doesn't have that many you know I- interesting opinions and a tweet like this shows how how simple her way of thinking is like she actually thinks that if you're what does it mean it's a package deal like really do you think these things always go together always like how out of touch do you have to be to think that like how do you right. even come up with that like uh, you, you do know a lot of leftist people are religious and a lot of conservatives are atheists like and the narcissism part that's just like that, that's just a whole other level of stupid that I'm not, I don't even want to touch right? honestly it's just lazy it's just so lazy but the reason why I like this tweet is first of all a lot of so first of all there's a lot of right wing atheists not like I'm not by the way, from, from people that are left-wing, they, a lot of them see right-wing as an insult. Right-wing doesn't mean alt-right, okay? There are a lot of smart, good people on right, and there are a lot of smart and good people, interesting people, uh, sane people on the left. And a lot of people on the left, when you very say right-wing, they see you like, oh, alt-right, or like crazy conservative. No. And whenever you talk to the people on the right, when you say left-wing, they see like, oh, social justice warrior, you know, snowflakes, like, no. Uh, those are the extreme ends of the right wing and left wing, right? There, there are a lot of sane people in the in between those two extremes, right? Both on the right and the left, right? And the thing um, about people like Candace Owens is that she was attracting a lot of, um, a, you know, conservatives, including a lot of atheist conservatives, right? A lot of atheist right wing people. And a lot of conservatives don't know how many atheists are in their camp. And I and I want them to, uh, you know, people as, you know, crazy as Candace Owens to alienate them, right? Because I want them to take a look at the, you know, I want them to say like, oh, atheists are, nar- you know, narcissists. Um, and a lot of people in the conservative, you know, on the right wing and a lot of atheists are like, maybe this is not my home, right? Maybe these are not the people I should be looking up to, right? So that they don't follow the, you know, they take a look at the people that they're following, right? Uh, So that's a good thing that she managed to alienate a whole bunch of atheists. Another reason why I like it is because a lot of left-wing atheists don't understand that a lot of atheists are right-wing. And they just assume that, uh, and and and, and I'm glad that a lot of left-wing atheists saw a whole bunch of right-wing atheists reacting to this to see like oh my, like holy crap there's so many right-wing atheists there like i didn't know how many of them are there because a lot of left-wing atheists assume that oh if you're an atheist there's a very high chance that you're going to be 
um, you know, that you're going to be, a, you know, leftists. Right, and they oh usually when they join atheist communities, they get shocked. Like, wow, there's so many right wing atheists here. But I think like things like this, the reaction to this tweet by a lot of right wing atheists calling this out, wakes up a lot of left wing atheists to to the fact that you know there's a whole bunch of right wing people in our camp as well, and we need to make a home for them. We can disagree, right? We could like fight each other's political ideas, but when it comes to creating a community for atheists, we need to. If you assume they're all left wing, then you're not going to be a welcoming community for a lot of atheists. So seeing this is an important, you know, thing for our community to see. Like, wow, and and they are, and it's a good way for them to see it. So because they're appreciating, a, you know, an attack on Candace Owens, so a lot of left wing atheists could appreciate the right wing and the right wing atheists seeing them how brutally they're going after Candace Owens tweet like this. Mm -hmm. but, but how how stupid is this tweet? Like, I'm trying to put my position, my, you know, how do you come up with a conclusion like this? The, like, the, okay, here's the most charitable, charitable when it comes to strategically rather than morally, right? Um, interpretation of this I could give, right? I'm trying to be as charitable as I possibly can, right? And this would not say much about how moral Candace is, but how maybe smart she is, right? Maybe she knows that this is not true like obviously not all left-wing people are atheists and narcissism there's like narcissism yeah like uh, nothing like claiming that the whole world the universe and everything by god was created for art for this species on this planet and this <laughs> in this solar system you talk about narcissism right but Forget that. Like the whole idea of le being left wing means you're an atheist, or being an atheist means you're left wing, and there's no conservative atheist. That is so stupid. That the only way to fix that is that maybe she knows that this is not true, and just she's a, just a reaction junkie. She knows that if she says something, maybe she just likes. Uh, she knows that she could just put like a very cheap thing out there that maybe a lot of her Christian base would like, a lot of people would hate and will start a lot of discussion and a, a lot of people will, a lot of backlash and as long as she's getting coverage, she doesn't care that it's negative coverage because it, she, maybe she's saying, looking at her stats and she's losing losing relevance and she's noticing the only way to gain relevance if, if, if she gets, gives, puts something easy for people out there, for people to go after and make her name come back on the news and for her to get more coverage so maybe she's okay with the backlash as long as her name is being mentioned as her uh, twitter account is getting coverage because you get more even if you get negative coverage your twitter following will increase your youtube subscriber will increase doesn't matter if it's negative or positive so maybe it's a calculated decision that's the most charitable uh, analysis of this i could give and that's pretty charitable yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Austin is saying very incorrect. On the other hand, rightism, social Darwinism, and narcissism are very much a package deal. No, Austin, you're wrong. You're exactly wrong. The same way Candace is wrong. You're on the other side of wrong. You're 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 the left wing version of Candace. You're saying that being right wing. Social Darwinism and narcissism are very much a package deal. No. A lot of right-wing people are not narcissistic at all. A lot of right-wing people are extremely good, even if you disagree with them, charitable, kind people that deal that care about everybody around them. Just because you, a lot of people see, if if somebody is from uh, you know a right-wing conservative, they they the reason why they're right-wing and they disagree with you is because they have maybe they have a different philosophy of what makes the world a better place for everybody right their intention could still be that they want the world to be a better place for everybody they just their solution is different than yours maybe the, your solution is right and their solution is wrong but we have to be charitable their intent you they have the same intention as you they want the world to be better for everybody so it's not narcissistic. It could be narcissistic to be right wing, but it could be not. It could be something that you think, oh, I genuinely think this is going to make people happier. So it could be completely, so don't be, you know, so what this is, a. will call it Austin's response to this as well. Social Darwinism. Uh, if you're talking about you know, the free markets and stuff, I'm not going to get into that because that's going to get into a whole other uh, discussion. Uh, did you guys want to add anything to this? Nope. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. 
If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.